Hey guys, today we're going to be using a tool called a beat grid. A beat grid is a box that can help you remember words or concepts that you need to remember. It's also a really great way to create a short, simple song with basic rhythm. We start out with a box. We then divide that box into four equal sections. We then divide that box again into eight equal sections by drawing those two lines. And we finally divide it one more time into 16 sections by drawing two vertical lines. We now have 16 beats where each box is one beat. Now in each box you're going to either put one sound, two sounds, or no sound called a rest. The best place for the rests are right here and right here. I want you to put your rests there and then go back and fill the rest up with ta's and tt's or one sound and two sound notes. So let me go through here and we'll just put a few. Hmm. Ta, tt, ta, tt, 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 and on this next box you're going to do something very cool. That box and this box are going to rhyme. So I want you to pick two rhyming words. Let's see. Let's say we're making up a song about meat. Lamb and ham. Alright, continue filling in the box. T T T T Ta Ta T T T T Ham Rest. Let's read this together. Ta T T Ta T T T T T T Lamb T T T T Ta Ta T T T T Ham and what you have is a short 16 beat song. If you were to take these rhythms and replace them with one syllable and two syllable words, all related to the subject of meat, we could then create a song that would help us remember things related to meat and things that are related to, um, to the subject at hand. You know, it doesn't have to be meat. It can be any number of things. So that is a beat grid, and that's a basic lesson on how to create one and how to go about filling it in. Practice using your rhythms without the rhyming words, and then practice with some rhyming words and try your hand at it. In a future lesson, I'll show you exactly how to put words in the boxes and create a nice song.